can't get your Tesla. Here's an article. It says that Tesla is having to rework parts because people didn't do their jobs. Cars are late and customers are ticked off. How did this happen? We talked about this a lot in episode 29. To recap, the automotive model life cycle is that you introduce your new model at a near loss financially. And in fact, this is exactly what Tesla did. Then they went out and tried to find suppliers. They went to tier one hell, which are huge complex operations, and there's constant pressure to reduce cost and price. So here's this guy, Elon Musk. He's brilliant at launching web platforms, but doesn't know squat about manufacturing. And he's over the top arrogant. So if you're in tier one hell, all you can think about is this guy. John DeLorean. He actually knew something about manufacturing, went broke in two years, made everyone around him miserable, and ended up selling drugs to finance his company, and he didn't do his job. He made only two people happy. So here's the tier one hell thought process. Anything I do is gonna take an enormous investment. The likelihood of actually ever making money selling to Elon Musk is practically zero. If the part they want is very close to something I already make, I might do it. If the part is something weird, I'm gonna run away and not look back. So the Tesla option is to go to suppliers with minimal experience in automotive or untested suppliers that might not do their jobs, and that's what they did. Suppliers didn't do their jobs and to rework parts to make them work. And customers don't get their cars. So who in all this didn't do their jobs? Well, here's your choice. But to his credit, he's freely admitting this. We're witnessing a standoff of dueling entrenched mediocrity, resistance to change on the part of tier one hell, and resistance to change on the part of an internet billionaire. Meanwhile, people aren't getting their cars and people aren't doing their jobs.